Hey everyone, GoBot here, back today with a brand new episode for Madden 21, your Cowboys franchise here, as we are in for a big game on today's episode. Week 4 at home, the 2-1 Browns are coming to Arlington against our 3-0 Cowboys, again, who are tied in the NFC East right now with the Eagles, who are also 3-0. The rest of the teams in the division are uh, winless so far, but let's go ahead and get into the game. We have made a couple of adjustments in terms of, um, let me show you really quick. I'm going to make sure it's active in this roster because I know it is for the uh, Cardinals one, so we'll make sure it is on here as well. Um, but we, we've we uh, actually removing Diggs into a spot where he should be getting a lot of snaps. Jordan Lewis is now moving over to the slot receiver position. So we're going to see how that goes. I want to turn off right now roughing the kicker because this is all over the place right now in the game. I'm also going to turn down the injuries to about 20. And I'm going to turn up the punting power by about six or so um because those are some of the major issues we have been seeing so far and again we're still in all madden difficulty but let's get into the game here today i appreciate you all so much for tuning in here today for this episode madden is officially here y'all hope you're all having a great time playing it um you know what i kind of want to wear a different different uniform out there i kind of want to go with the uh let's see alternates got some different alts here let's just go with the road and then let's mix up some of the socks, maybe. Go with the whites. White. Kind of not, don't mind that at all. Color rush pants. The white on blue here. It's not bad. Don't like that. Kind of wanted to play with that. Just have some fun with it. Current helmets. The 90s helmet there. Let's, let's just roll with this thing. Uh, let's see what they're wearing out there. They're going to be wearing their ways. So let's just solidify that now. So let's go ahead and get in this game again. This should be a tough game. Um, they're playing pretty good over all the Browns are. we got to worry about OBJ as well. Miles Garrett off the end as well. We've got to worry about him on the defensive side. But thank you so much for tuning in making today's video part of your day. Thank you for making Madden 21 the biggest it's ever been on our channel and helping us continue to grow towards our subscriber goal of 10,000 subs. Appreciate if you want to join the GoBot family, subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. If you like today's video, I appreciate that as well. It lets me know that you're enjoying the series and you want me to continue to do the series more and more and more. So smash that thumbs up. What is happening here? Okay. Smash that thumbs up though, y'all. Comment down below with your thoughts. I'll try to reply as many comments as I possibly can as usual. But here we are, man. It's week four. Your Cowboys for the first time on the new year wearing our blue unis. This should be a fun one, man. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I hope you all are as well. Zeke doing Zeke things. All right, y'all. Let's get this thing kicked off here. And the Cowboys. Browns is a big one. Oh, man. What? Let's get it going, baby. Let's get it going, baby. He's going to try to cut it outside. So the opening kickoff taken down the 21-yard line. Dallas defense will take the field for the first time. And again, we have Diggs in the game today, number 31 out there. We'll see a lot of him. Hopefully, he can play well for us. I could hit the slant to OBJ. He gets 10, but I don't think he made it. And they say he gained 9. He got 9 there, so I'm expecting a run here on second. Let's see if we do or don't. There they go. Up the middle. And he stood up there. That was Sean Lee there on the play. And third and inches, so... Third and inches. I again I, I anticipate pass or run, excuse me. Oh, they're going pass play. Dang, I did not expect a pass play on that situation right there, y'all. But yeah, I'm excited to see Trayvon Diggs out there today. I want to see if he plays well for us. Because again, if he does well, we will keep him in that position. Um also with Zeke, you know, I've read some of y'all's comments, y'all, some of y'all are like, feed Zeke more, you know, I guess y'all think getting 20 carries a night, 19 to 22 carries a night is not good enough, I'm not going to give him too much more than that, I share the wealth between him and Pollard, it's a two-headed monster, that's the way it's going to be played, uh, so hopefully y'all understand that, you play Madden, play Madden your way, I'm going to do mine my ways, of course, so here we go, third down and two, but again, I want to thank you all so much for all of the support on this series. Um, y'all have made this game and this series bigger than it's ever been on my channel. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, so big games going on down below. As you can see, the Chiefs and the Patri Patriots and also the Philadelphia Eagles and the, the Niners 
all unbeaten taking each other on. That's going to be a really fun a couple of games to keep an eye on there. And uh, we also put CD Lamb back on returns today. We're going to see how CD does. He's, I think, three overall worse at uh, three overall worse than uh, Pollard is. So we'll see how he does. We're going to start off with a toss here to see if Zeke can do Zeke things. And he jukes one, but gets tripped up there 13 yards. So a good run there from Zeke. I think he had near a 100-yard game last time out. It wasn't quite there. Trips here. Look, look like there's zone coverage on me. Zeke trying to be patient right there, letting step open up. Two rushes in. And you see last week he's 19 carries, 90 million yards. That's that's awesome, guys. If you're, if you're getting 19 carries and you're getting 99 yards, you don't need to have 20, 25 carries every single game. So I think it's fine. Second hit came in there and stopped me. Third and one now. Let's go read option here with Zeke. Back. Third and one. Back taken off. He'll get the first easily right there. It's a nine yard pickup there. Uh, so y'all know Dak is, I believe, a gold star player in the game, but he is not an X Factor ability player. Oh, no, he says he is here. So he's got anchored interior. So y'all wanted to know what Dak does. He's got anchored exterior, better chance to break tackles, and gutsy scrambler immune to defensive pressure while on the run. So that's really cool to see. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just took a delay of game because I was looking at that. I didn't hear the I didn't hear the thing counting down. Whatever. You're good, Dak. You're good, man. Well. Right, we're gonna try stretching here with Zeke. Going into their strong side. This may end up being garbage and it ends up getting us four. Alright, so second and eleven now. Um let's go with Pollard up the middle. We're just trying to run, run, run as fast as we can. Let's see how he does. Second and eleven here. Couldn't get much there. Three. I get a third down at nine, and nine, it says. Third and nine. Smash corners to play here. We need to get Cooper more involved out here today if we can. There's CD, but it hits him in his hands. Incomplete. That's that's not how we draw it up there. It's a drop pass. we got to now try to hit this 52-yarder out here with Greg Zerlin. Dalton on the hold, the kick is up, and it is through. So the kick's good. And uh, it's a 3 0 early lead for Dallas. We're looking to stay unbeaten on this early season. Uh, and really, we'll, we'll have to keep tabs and see what happens out there with those Eagles, because if the Eagles win, I mean, Dallas needs to keep winning to stay in this situation we're in right now. Tampa Bay struggling this year. They're 0 and 3. Who thought that Brady and the and the, the Bucks would start the year winless, as well as Seattle, who is, I, in my opinion, a lot better than the record showed. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's a big run there for Kareem Hunt. That's a huge run. Twenty-seven yards now. Where's Diggs? Is Diggs out here on the one? Oh God! He's he's corner two. Why is he out there on the one? I don't know how I feel about that. I may need that to be switched. Austin Hooper, 99 yards last game out. Has five touchdowns this year. Holy crap. He's leading the league in, in reception, receiving touchdowns this season. Oh, wow. Burned. Oh, we got him. Barely. Haha -ha is able to stretch out and make that play happen. <sighs> well, first and goal now. We need to stop him here, man. Batted it down. I jumped. I knew he was gonna pass. We jumped. We maybe we may have been able to sack him on that. Let's be honest. We we probably could have gotten to him. Inch the line. And we're gonna sack him. Big play, Sean Lee out there. He's old, but the dude's still getting it done. We will see. We we will need to look at our contract situations because if he's on a one-year contract, we may trade him. Just try to get a pick out of him. 
Oh, who was that? Lewis? You gotta pick that, man. But that's a big stop there for Dallas. It could have been a touchdown. The shoestring tackle out there by Clinton Dix gets the stop. Now it's a field goal. So it's three all, 316 left here in quarter one. It's been a pretty fun start here so far here today, y'all. Pretty fun indeed. All right, so right down the middle here, there's CD Lamb. We're gonna take it. We'll see how we do out here with CD on the return. Not good. We, we didn't even get close to where we wanted to be. Bad gummit. Okay, let's go angle smash. Let's try to get some of the passing game involved here. Cooper, Gallup. Zeke. Big job right there. Big, big stuff. Okay. Let's go stretch left here. Okay. Zeke taking off. Oh, we couldn't get around him. 49 yards now on 50 yards, or 49 yards on five carries, excuse me. Uh, Brainy's up now. It's first and 10. We're going to go Pollard. We're going to stretch again with Pollard here. Uh, actually, I'm going to audible out of that. Oh, what a play. Dad gummit. The rookie. He jumped up and snagged that thing. I put maybe too much on it. If I were to float that pass, it may have not have been a pick, but dad gummit. Excuse Gizmo. Apologize for his barkiness. And Chubb is swallowed up. Good job there from Clinton Dix making a big tackle there in the open space. He did that stop. I'm scared for you out there, rookie. He's out there with OBJ. <laughs> I gotta go up the middle. Good job there with Jalen Smith. Able to get the tackle. We'll make it a third and six. Assume this is gonna be a pass play here. And wide open. Landry's wide open out there. Don Terry Poe is hurt on the play there. So we're gonna hope that's nothing severe in his absence. Woods, Antoine Woods will take his spot. You got Nick Chubb, you got Kareem Hutt out here, man. They got the, the one two beast. It's a bruised shoulder, he will return, so that's fine. Second and nine now here. Huge hit, jarred the ball loose. Incomplete. Incomplete, it will fall. Last play of the quarter. Yes, sir. Who is that? Clinton Dix is having a game right there. He deflected that pass out. Incomplete. The quarter ends. We are tied at three. And it's a fourth and nine. Cowboys will get the ball back. I got to give credit to our safety, Ben. Maybe he's hearing the murmurs, the rumors that the Cowboys may be uh, trying to go sign a new safety in Jalen Adams. Is that his name, Jalen Adams? I don't know. Not Adams. Who is it? Uh, Jalen. Uh, whoever. Whoever just got cut from the sink in, uh, in real life got cut from the sink in Ravens. Hi, Zeke. My bad, my man. I should have got that ball out to him a lot quicker than I did. That's my bad. My eyes were all drifting off to the right. I didn't see it. Okay, we got double pressure out here. Let's see if we can get the blocks. Shoot. Got stood up there, Zeke. Couldn't move inside of him. Just a bad angle, maybe. It's a third and eight, Dallas. Looking at Coop across the middle of the field here. They're in a zone right here. It looks like they're in cover two. Easy. Easy, CD Lamb. First down, baby. The Dak trying to make up for things. Go stretch left with Zeke. Just can't. They're, they're checking me on the outside. I'm going to start running inside, y'all. 
They're checking me on the outside runs. They are. Gallup and Cooper here, man coverage on them. What a play from this, the, this, the, the safety, whoever that was out there, just sticking with that, man. I got to give credit to the defense so far. They've made some big plays defensively. Uh, stopping our passing attack. Doing what I want to do. What are you doing, Dak? Why are you stuck in a freaking running formation right there? Piss poor. I'm pissed. That pisses me off. It ticks me off so much, y'all. Yeah, I went out of the pocket, but I was trying to go elsewhere. And somebody freaking hit him. Holy shenanigans. Shimagama Tensei. First and ten. Very upset with the way we're playing early on. Though. Slant and Diggs can't get him. Oh, God. Oh well. There's no way you're gonna actually try to do a run, a pass here. You have a first and inches. What was that? Vader's freaking fell down. Well, we're down. So it's a 10-3 lead for the Bear, the Browns, whatever the freaking team is. That gummit, I'm pissed. We need to get a freaking offense going, get our head out of the butt, start playing the game of football. I'm ticked at myself as much as I am my team right now. I'm just not playing well. Not operating proper. And again, I'm done trying to do all the outside runs. I've read y'all's comments and stuff with Zeke getting on the outside runs. That will happen, but it's going to happen after we dash a little bit. Which right now, their run defense is just stellar so far. I mean, we do have 49 yards with, with them out there. But uh, we haven't earned anything yet to start doing all that. Miles Garrett is one sack and needs one more to get in the zone. Gallup first down on that catch right there. He gets an extra block there from Zeke as well. Uh, let's go Z spot and go here. Oh, he's open. I saw him, but I was already moving right there. I didn't want to throw anything on the run, but I saw Gallup get open there at the last second. But nonetheless, we got the first down on the ground there. We'll take it. All right, so now I kind of like this. So we do still have that one safety over here. If we can get a good block... Zeke should. <laughs> Soft. Can't get the dang happening. Let's go play action here, man. A little bit of play action here. They're not they're not biting on it. Pollard will get the first for us. We'll take that two yards. Easy first down. Now let's try to go play action. We've done a couple run plays back to back here. We got the one safety. If they bite, nobody's biting. But CD's there with a the catch. It's 10 yards. I think he, yes, he did. He got it. We'll take that. Good play. Let's go stick here. Rolling the safety down. Cooper is going to go run with CD as well. There's a pass caught by Gallup. Gallup. Strong catch there as he was swatted at there on the play. First down and 10 now. Cowboys moving down the field. Got a, got a situation out here on the outside. Amari oh, Cooper! Ladies and gentlemen, we threw it up. What is this glitch? Madden. Okay. What is happening? Why are we why are we glitched out here? Madden 21 right now, man. It, it the gameplay is smooth and solid right now. I'm enjoying it. 
but there are some weird glitches happening. In face of the franchise, Super Sim is disappearing at times. And there's like a white screen glitch that we've all seen, I think, twice already in this episode that is happening. It's weird. But whatever. Cowboys get the tie. A big touchdown pass there, Dak to Coop. And that's the response we needed from this team. Uh, so, 10 all, 443 left here in the half. And uh, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Kind of cover over here with this. Going ground attack. Swallow it up. Nothing going on there for Hunt. Still cover one robber here. Nothing. Lost one that time. So starting off the possession out here. Back-to-back -back runs does not pay dividends for, for the Browns. And now... It's a third and 11. And deflected. Vander Esch is there. Incomplete. It falls. Cowboys will be able to get the ball off the punt now. And we should be able to get maybe a decent return here out of CD. We'll see what we can get. 330 and counting left here in the half. CD Lamb back to return this from our own 29. And I couldn't. I took it too tight. Should have went sideline, or I was trying to break up field up the right, right there. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, so let's let's get it going here on the ground. We have time. We have the ball to start the second half as well. So I really would like for this to be the last possession of the half. Zeke can't get much there. It's two. I throw it late? I don't know. Something was off about that play. Felt like I threw it late or something. So third down and eight now for Dallas. Jarwin, big catch there. Blake Jarwin. Expect big things from him this year from the Dallas Cowboys in real life. Uh, I think he's a, a tremendous tool. Given the opportunity, I think he could be a really tremendous player for Dallas. There he is again, Big Jarwin. First down. Back to back catches on back to back plays. And that'll take us to the two minute warning here in the first half. 10 all of your score in week four. Two and one Browns coming to Arlington against the three and O Dallas Cowboys. We're bringing a blitz up the gut here. We're gonna send, no, send Zeke straight up. Throw it up. Oh, what a pick. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, what is that? I gotta get my head right. <sighs> not a good start to the half, y'all. Not playing well. I'm not focused. I'm not playing well. It's leading to what you're seeing. Mm, I want to punch my chair so bad, but. Injured player down in his Forbes. See on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. <sighs> so not much time rusty as crap, y'all. I am rusty as heck. Not playing well at all. Fielded just outside the goal line. Now he brings us out past the 20. Move the guy, however, button, start playing. Come on. 
Come on, go much. We can get this done. We can get it going. Those of you that saw me play Madden 20, you know eventually once I get the hang of this game again, I'll start killing it. Don't pump. You wanted to pump. I was holding the dang button. We ain't pumping. Come on now. <laughs> Man, we're not doing that jazz. Or something freaking one. We needed to do something with an out route right there. I wasted the timeout because of that stupid play I just called. We need to do something going towards the sideline. We're looking maybe field goal range could be okay for us here. Oh god. What are these passes, Dak? Three. Fumble, we'll take it. Come on. We'll take it. Jeez, this, this is a ugly, sloppy game. Sorry. And here we go, the stupid glitch again. Dad gum this game. How am I supposed to do anything here? I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't even see. Stupid game. It's so bugged. Fix your game, Madden. I'm aggravated, y'all. Sorry. And, and yes, that is a glitch. It's not an editing issue. It's not a post-processing problem. This is it's completely Madden. I'm in a bad place right now for this. Third and ten. Why would I do that? No. I'm in a bad mood. Bad waypoint. Chunk it up. Just air it out. Why not? That will kick the field goal. 57 yards. We better hit it. Oh, second half's got to be a lot cleaner, boys. So we got the field goal there. Uh, I'm, I, I need to take some deep breaths and know that it's okay. We'll survive. And it will be okay. Um, we can work. As bad as I have played so far this episode with three picks, full Dak, we're in this game. We're only down, f what, five? Four or five? Down four. We can we can win this game. I just need, I need to settle down, play my game, and trust my passes. Because right now I'm not. I'm just kind of guessing when I pass, and it's not good. Trust my team, trust my passes. There's a flag, and then let me guess, it's gonna be a hold on the offense. <sighs> Connor Williams, you son of a gun. Alright, first and 18. CD with a big catch there. One touchdown and three picks. Oh, it ticks me off so much. We're so much better than I don't care, I'm going for it. Don't care at all. Going for it. Let's go. Sometimes you gotta risk it. I gotta get something going. I need to get that confidence going. I need to get I need to get everything just kinda going here for this team right now, because right now we're playing sluggish. Myself included, not just team. What do I? Pressure came right there. I wasn't ready for it. Alright, second and ten. 
Pollard gonna hit the scene. Get four. Third rush for him, nine yards. The shark wheel here. Shark wheel. Zeke on the bubble on the wheel is what we want, evidently. So we'll see if we can hit that. Wide open. Big catch. We'll take that. It's a big play we need. Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> I like that. I like that uh, celebration there. We'll fight forward. Get four yards there. Let's go read option. We're reading the outside backer here. The outside lineman here. Let's see what we plug. That's fine. Third and two now. We're going to go strong toss left here to Zeke and see if we can score this touchdown and take the lead. No, oh, stay up! Get in the end zone. We lost it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it right here. I'm going for it. Let's go. CD Lamb. Mm, big play. Big, big play for CD and Dak. That's a big play for Dak just to get that confidence back after throwing three picks in the first half. He starts the second half with a touchdown, an 11 play, five minute drive. We're back on top here in this game against the Browns. We'll take it. We'll take it, baby. God bless. So the touchback is taken. Three point lead for your Cowboys. 8 1 left. Again, it's been a sloppy, ugly game so far here today, but we've withstood it and we're, we're, we're standing. We're being resilient. Trying to be. He still fought forward and got a couple yards chubbed there. Second and eight now. Yeah. Lewis pushed off like he's nothing. And Van Der Esch is there to light him up at the end of the play, but not before the first down was picked up. First and ten. Reflected. Good job, Awuzie. Better baby. I love him. Do baby. Hooper with a catch, close to the first down, and they say it's a third and inches. So here we go. Third and inches. Oh wow, they. They fooled me. They, they razzle-dazzled me right there, man. They went with the play action. They dropped it into Hooper for the first down. Sean Lee was there to get the stop, but a first down happened across midfield. Here we go. Huge hit. We, were de we delayed a second just to see what was developing there. Huge hit from Van Der Esch. Second and 13 now. We're playing out here with Jordan Lewis in the slot. They went to they went to hunt on the catch across the middle of the field. Third down and eight. Now they seem to be maybe cl close to field goal range. I'm not quite sure if they're really there. Big third down now. Pressure. Baker's nobody. No ba Baker's all alone. And we we lit him up, but nobody. We didn't have a spy. We didn't even think about Baker running. I didn't even think about Baker running. Shoot. Okay. We'll take that. Second and nine now. Ooh, I formation. Are they running? I'm not falling for it. I'm, I'm, I'm betting play action. But they run. He tried to stretch out. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did the first. 
<sighs> Kareem Hunt was killing it today. Come on, D. Stand up here. Stand up here. Oh, gosh. Well, they're back on top. Back on top. Well, 24-20 is your lead now for the Browns. Um, it's fine. We're fine. We got a little bit of adversity here today. We're, we're having to overcome my bad play. And our defense just not playing tremendously well. A bad return there on my part, but whatever. We're okay, boys. We're tied up in the, the yards today with 295, respectively. There's a hold. There's a flag. It's going to come back. It's either Tyron Smith or Connor Williams. Who is it? Figure. You figure. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We need to come up even out there with Dak, Dak today. Dak's two touchdowns and three picks today. I need him to be three and three at least. <laughs> no more touch. No more picks out of him. What are you doing, Smith? Get the block. Third and eight. Nobody picked that dude up. Nobody. Not even remotely close to trying to pick him up. CD's there. Don't think he got it, though. Shoot. Doing it. Doing it. Let's go, baby. It's risky. But we did it. Oh, I got hit as I threw. Oh, I got hit as I threw on that. I, I, that could have been a may, maybe a lot better of a pass. It was very risky. It was a very risky pass. Second and ten. Zeke. Stiff arm and one. First down on a big play there. There we go. There we go. That's a big play. We'll take us to the end of the quarter on that one. So after three, the Cowboys trailing here. They're trailing here today at home against the Browns. Browns have played a good game so far. Of course, I've handed them some opportunities today with my bad turnovers I've had. Uh, there's Blake Jarwin. Blake Jarwin, big, strong guy. Also pretty agile for a big man. He's kind of disrespected in this game. He, uh, his overall is not near as good, as, it in my opinion, what it should be. But it is what it is, you know. Second, or first and ten, excuse me. Three there from Zeke. It's fine. We're going to try to slip screen here on the weak side. What is that? Why did you bounce that way? Man, oh man, they still are broken on the screen passes in this game. It's terrible. Third and 15. Oh, it kills me. There's a... They're going to decline it, clearly. They're making it a fourth and 27. Why not? So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up the third line for the Cowboy field goal. we got to kick the field goal here. One point deficit. 
Well, y'all are kind of getting to see me at my, my worst in Madden. This is about as bad as I... What the heck was the glitch there? I'm going to kick it out of bounds now because of this. Screw Madden. Jankiness on the kicking bar. You have the white screen glitch. You have the super sim glitch. You have this, that, and the other. I'm getting pissed at this game today. Y'all are getting to see me, A, in a bad mood, and play like crap. And it's correlating together, of course. But, at the end of the day, we can still win this game, so I need to raise my spirits. Raise them up, good much. Raise them up. <sighs> Who's far above? Swallow him up. Yes, sir. Good job, Sean. Third and 13. Bend but don't break here. No, no first downs. No first downs here. Make him kick a field goal. Or a punt. There's OBJ on a perfect little st a pattern right there. He just destroyed Woods. Third catch on the day. Dang it! We need to force a fumble. Something. Because I'm scared they're going to go down and score a touchdown here. Maybe put this game out of hand. We're not careful. What are we doing? What is this? When you switch buttons, like characters and stuff, why doesn't it switch properly to like... It doesn't switch to the guy I exactly want sometimes. It pisses me off. Oh, God. Down eight. Be better. Be better. Come on. Come on. Get out of the funk. Be better here. Uh, he'll be back. Good for him. Rolling in the safeties. I hit as I threw. Freak. Good stuff there for Zeke. Seven catches for Zeke today, over 100 yards. He's been one of our go-tos all day long. All day long. Wilson, going to get his nine, maybe close to ten on that. Go right here. Go right back to him. Tempo again. Let's go tempo, tempo, tempo. The sluggo here. Dropped that time. Dang it, Wilson. Almost had you for a trifecta there. Zeke can't get too, too, too much there. He got six. Third and four, boys. Come on. Come on. Didn't get it. I got to go for it. No, he did get it. Wow. They gave me it. <laughs> okay. They gave me that, y'all, because I'm pretty sure we were nowhere near being where we needed to be for that first. P.I. Please be a P.I. We'll take it. We'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. First and goal at the six now. 6.14 left. Cowboys got a chance here. Oh, man. Down to the one. I'm going to go fullback dive here. Try Alo while I out. Touchdown, baby, Alloy. Let's go. 
And now with a with a two point conversion, we can tie this game up. I don't like the Zeke is tired on this play, but we got to do it. Let's go. We're tied. Let's go. What a game. Baby, what, a, what a game. 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 <laughs> 540 left. We're tied up. Now can the defense show out and make one big stop. One big stop. I need one series here. To be outstanding 31 all your score let's go baby i would love nothing more than to see the rookie step up here digs with a big play he's had a kind of had a quiet game out there man what a play baker making things happen big hit Hunt, 6th rush, 32 yards. We'll play out here with Jordan Lewis. Oh, they're going ground game. Am I shocked by that? A little bit. But he did get a decent return, a decent, decent game. 3rd and 7. Yes, he didn't get it. Incomplete, it falls. Fourth down, upcoming. 3.50 left. They'll punt the ball. Cowboys will get the ball with a chance to win this thing here in the fourth. Wow. Go let that bounce. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get in the end zone. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. But here comes Zeke. You see how he started and how he's been since. We need him to... I need Zeke to get it going here, man. Gotta go left. It's okay, we got four. We got the clock starting to move. Again, we I kind of want the clock to get moving just so we can have that last chance with the ball. I'd rather us have the ball with the time expires than them. This situation, and Zeke, oh, stood up. 20 rushes for him today, only 80 yards. As it's just been a stingy type of game out there today, this this defense. Even though we've 400 yards of total offense today. Pollard, good stuff, baby. Alright, so now that should... Depending on here, we may be able to get one big playoff. So try right here to get this last playoff for the two-minute warning. Caught. Cooper. First down. Two minute warning. And we just put a, just enough touch on that ball to outstretch past. They're now going for strips. They're playing aggressive. Strip ball is what they're trying to do here now. First and ten. The Cowboys have the rock. And that's all we're going to do. Just dink it down. Let's do simple little things. Uh, we're actually going to move our coaching adjustment to ball carrier conservative uh, whatever all right just just play conservatively here let that clock work try to get into field goal range and win this thing yep. just hold right bumper hold that right bumper they're calling timeouts now Hold that right bumper. Tony Pollard checking in. First and ten, Dallas. What was that? I forgot. B is not. B is not spin move anymore. Dang it! I forgot they've changed their dang running stuff now. That's only a one yarder. We've seventy plays today. They tried. I think we got it. First and ten, and now they're they're out of options here, man. He's equal battle forward, gets four. He's near 100 yards. I want to give him that one more rush to get 100. Let the clock work. 
Don't let that clock work here. Down to about 10, 15. Oh man, if we're able to win this thing, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna be very happy because I've played like garbage. And I'll be the first to admit it. I've not played very well in today's episode, period. 40 seconds left now. And I want to give one more run to Zeke because I want him to get. I want Zeke to get the uh, 100 yard mark today. We'll do that. We'll do that. Now, again, realistically speaking, maybe I should have fallen down and, you know, fallen down and, and taken, taken, whoa, stuttery. Holy crap, we may miss the PAT. Yeah, we still hit it. Uh, I probably should have fallen down at the goal line and let the clock work until one second and then kick a field goal there. Whatever. Okay, I hear y'all that are saying, what are you doing, GoBots? You should have fallen, taken the clock down to one second, kicked a field goal, won the game, over. Now they have 20 seconds left and they have an opportunity to Hail Mary or something. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But it's a touchdown for Zeke and I'm happy about it. Okay, let's take it. So 38-31 lead, 16 seconds left. Is this game over? Far from it. Not when you have OBJ and Baker Mayfield. Come on, big play defense. Just don't do anything stupid here. Trayvon Diggs able to bat that one away. They got two more chances out of here. Oh my gosh, if that was caught, I would have lost my mind. So this is it. Last play of the game here. The chunk in it middle. And that's it. Ball game. Cowboys survive it. We win this game 38-31. And I am so happy about it. Saying I'm beating on the year 4 and oh. Wow. Wow. Zeke had a good game out there today, over 100 yards with a couple of touchdowns on the ground. Dak struggled in the first half with three picks, but recovered and led his team to a fourth quarter comeback and a victory. Um, Coop with that amazing catch he had for a touchdown earlier as well. It was a good game. We led in passing. We led in rushing. We did have three turnovers, but that's an area we can fix and improve upon. Uh, you see Dak out there today, struggled 27 to 40, 352 through the air though, two touchdowns and three picks. Zeke on the ground over 100 yards of the touchdown. Uh, Pollard 19 yards on seven carries. Dak 19 yards. Alawale had a one big touchdown run he did. Uh, Zeke led us in yards out there and receptions. Nine for 117. CeeDee Lamb seven for 93 of the touchdown. Jarwin four for 50. C Cedric two for 18. Hooper two for 41 with a touchdown. Gallup, I mean, we spread the ball out. Pretty well today. I'm very happy about that. Um, nine touchdowns led the way. It was Van Der Esch. Uh, we only had one sack from Sean Lee. Demarcus Lawrence has been almost non-existent this year, it seems like. Lawrence, I don't think, had hardly anything going on today. Was he even on the board? Lawrence didn't even do a thing. Who had the forced fumble? Trayvon Diggs led the team in pass deflections today. The rookie out of Bama. Two pass deflections. That's awesome to see. Horse fumble from Clinton Dix, picked up by Jordan Lewis. Hey, you got to be happy about that performance, y'all. So before we end today's episode, we're going to advance the week and see the stats, the standings across the NFL and see where everything's shaking out. Um, I'm happy with the win, though. Y'all got to see me at my worst. You got to see me upset and pretty mad today, uh, which in hindsight, I'm pretty mad at myself for even being that way. But uh, yeah, we got some big upgrades there. Uh, we're just going to let those auto... For the most part there. Holy crap, what a big, big, big game there for this team. Let's go ahead and advance the week. Get ready for the G-Men coming to Arlington. Uh, then the Redbirds after that. Uh, so advancing the week to week five or four and O, oh, a perfect month. Um going up against the O oh and four Giants. And the Eagles got beat. The three and one now, ladies and gentlemen. So our division's a mess, but there you see there's only a couple of unbeaten teams left. The 49ers, Patriots, Cowboys, and then the Bears still technically are unbeaten. They do have a tie on their card. Uh, let's go look at the AFC North. The AFC North led by the Steelers at 3-1. The Ravens defensively are terrible. They're not getting the job done offensively either. South is led by the Jaguars. 
at three and one. That's crazy to me. Titans are one and three. The Patriots leading their division four and zero. Everybody else is two and two. Uh, the West is led by the Chiefs at three and one. Everybody else is two and two. The North for the NFC. The Bears lead the division. The Packers right behind them. The Lions are winless so far this season. The South led by the Saints at three and one. And then you have the Falcons behind them. Buccaneers finally get their first win. The one and three. Only forty-seven points so far for them this season. That may be worse than the NFL. Uh, Cowboys right now. We still lead our division offensively we're crushing defensively we've been pretty bad this year we need to improve on that points against needs to improve the 49ers lead their division at 4-0 with the cardinals though behind them right there at three and one the seahawks y'all are 0-4 allowing 143 yards we're going to see who is the best offensively in the league and right now it is the jets with 145 points four have the top offense in the league then the browns niners and my cowboys the worst offense in the NFL right now is the Buccaneers. 47 points scored. And then Washington Giants Broncos. Who's got the best defense in the league right now? It is the Niners. 63 points against. Then you have the Saints, Broncos, Bears, Chiefs, Pats. And the worst defense is Seattle. With 143 points against. Then Washington, Ravens, Lions, and my Cowboys. So that's unfortunate to see there. Let's go to the stats. Look at the league leaders across the NFL. Um, and then we'll close off this episode. We'll look forward to the next one coming up um, Friday. So looking at the Cowboys, Dak, over 1,100 yards, passing six touchdowns and four picks. Uh, we'll see some other things here. We'll, we'll look at the Cowboys specifically uh, here in just a minute, but let's look at the league leaders across the NFL. Aaron Rodgers is the top passer over 1,252 yards. Um, not seeing any rookies. Dak is actually in the top 10 out there. That's great. Fantastic to see. Sam Darnold, the top touchdown passer in the league with 14 touchdowns. Followed by Rodgers, Foles, Mahomes, Mayfield, and Garoppolo. Who's throwing the most picks? Daniel Jones, Jackson, and Stafford. All with eight interceptions so far this season. Wow. Who's been sacked the most? Haskins has been sacked 27 times. In four games, then Drew Locke. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> insane. That is a terrible thing to see. Zeke right now is the most rushes by a ton. He's also the top rusher in the league. Uh, in terms of touchdowns, he's tied for the lead in touchdowns. So that's good to see there. Uh, Receiving-wise, top receiver currently is Ty Taylor Gabriel with 390 yards, followed by Galladay, Pascal, Samuels, Jefferson, and Funches. Who's got the most touchdowns this year? It is... Tie top them right right there with five. Uh, you got a tight end and a couple of receivers there. It's good to see for them. Defensively, top tackler is still Bobby Wagner, 46 tackles. Top sack man in the league right now is Von Miller with six. Uh, there's a couple guys here with three picks on the year. Tie to top right there. Who's got the most deflections this year? Alexander Johnson, six deflections. Good for him. Who's allowed the most catches this year? Eric Kendricks has allowed 20. Hot passes on him. That's not a good stat you want to be in right there. So the Cowboys, looking at the Cowboys overall, uh, Zeke on his 87 carries, 435 yards. It's pretty dang solid. Let's look at receiving here, how we're kind of mixing it up right now. Uh, the most receptions for our team, CeeDee Lamb, 23 catches, 305 yards, and two touchdowns. Then Amari Cooper, 15 catches, um, 300 yards, and three touchdowns. It's the most on the team. Jarwin is actually second on our team in receptions, which I did not realize. With 171 yards and a touchdown. Then you have Zeke, 12 for 158. Then Gallup, 9 for 124. Uh, we're trying to get the ball to Gallup a little bit more, but he's just, again, he's not my primary target. I always look at Coop and CD. Gallup's usually like my third or fourth option I'll look at. I'm trying to improve in those areas. We'll see if, what happens. So pretty good overall. Cowboys are 4-0. We're getting ready to play the winless rival Giants in the next episode, y'all. I cannot wait to get that going. Uh, but I appreciate you all so much for tuning in here today for a Cowboys episode. Stay tuned for the next Cowboy episode coming up tomorrow with uh, the Cardinal franchise. But I appreciate you all so much for tuning in, being a part of this one. If you enjoyed it, please support the video. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below. Feel free to join the Go Watch family. Subscribe. But y'all stay, stay safe. Stay safe out there, y'all. Have a great day. And we'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.